are all set to start our paint pouring. I'm going to be using five colors in my painting. I have a black, turquoise, blue ice pearl, robin's egg blue, and silver. I'm kind of keeping in the same color scheme, but um, you can certainly mix and match your colors and have lots of different colors in it and get a really great effect. So um, I have a cup for each color and each cup is filled with um, Floetrol, which is a paint additive. It helps the acrylic paint flow um, as we pour it over our eight by 10 canvas here. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of paint to each one. And we're going to stir it up. Oop, that one's going to be. Let's take that out of there. You see, I'm wearing gloves because it is going to get messy as we um, let the paint flow around. And we're going to stir this up. And if we want more color, then we'll just add a little more. It's kind of thick. Okay, so let's give these a good stir. I'm going to stir all of these and then I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so I have stirred up all the paints with the Floetrol. And now um, we're going to do what's called um, a dirty pour. There's a lot of different methods for the paint pouring. Um, but a dirty pour is where you pour all of your colors, you're going to layer them together into one cup. and you're not going to mix them and then you're going to pour them from the cup onto the um, your mat. Um, so you also want to kind of as you pour them into the cup you don't want to put all your dark colors together and all your light colors together you want to um, vary the the dark and the light. So I'm gonna move this back here. Okay, so I'm going to start with some black in the bottom here. Ooh. And then I'm going to layer in the robin's egg blue. And I think I'll do some silver. And this is the turquoise. And this is the ice blue pearl. There's not a rhyme or reason for how you put this in here. So you can also vary it up. You don't have to put it in the same order. Let's do one more turquoise. This is the last. Okay, so I'm going to move the cups out of the way for right now. And I'm going to bring in um, so I've just got a cookie sheet here um, that's going to catch the drips. I'm going to move this 
and I have the 8 by 10. Um, I just got an 8 by 10. I can't even think of what this is called. Um, canvas. That's, there we go. Canvas. Um, okay, so we are going to now pour this. You can pour this in any configuration or shape. So we're just going to give this a go. I'm not going to pour it all out right now. I want to give it a chance to flow around. So we're going to tilt this and let it flow. You're going to let it drip over the edges. You can use your finger to kind of help it along. This way, let it flow over that way. As you can see, it is kind of dripping over the edges. I'm going to help it a little bit on this corner here. Check to see that we have our corners covered. And we got some, we're just going to help these sides a little bit here. And now I'm going to set this up so that it can drip. some of my little cups that I have left over. Now if you want, like let's say we've got a lot of gray in there and we want a little more color, we can also add a little bit more. So this is going to sit here and dry. Okay, so we're back again and um, I'm going to show you technique number two. Um, as you can see, I've got my paints mixed up already. Um, these are the same ones as last time, only I've um, left out the silver this time. Um, and I wanted a bit more of the blue, so I've I've done a good bit more of the dark blue and less of the black. Um, one of the big differences that we're going to do this time is we're going to be adding silicone to our paint and what that does is it creates cells, little kind of bubbles that will pop and create a really cool technique on the or a cool effect on the canvas. Um, so we're going to add a drop to each paint color. And um, we're also going to be doing a different style of pour. So this would still be considered a dirty pour, but um, this one's called a flip cup. So rather than actually pouring it onto the canvas, we're going to put the cup <clears throat> right on the canvas 
and then lift it and let the let the paint flow. All right, so I'm going to start adding my colors here. Just like we did on the other one, you're going to just layer them in. wearing gloves. I'm getting paint on myself already. I also decreased the amount of paint because I found last time I actually had a lot of leftover paint. So no need to waste it. of this one. Okay. All right. So like I said, we're going to do flip cup. I'm going to move these out of the way just so um, just put this here for now. Move those out of the way. I'm going to scoot this forward a little bit. All righty. So um, I've got my actually cups from last time left over, those are just gonna keep my canvas up off the drip tray and allow all the paint to drip off the edges. And what I'm gonna do here is put my canvas right on top of the cup and I'm gonna flip it over. Now I'm gonna let it sit here. And Came out a little faster than I expected. I was going to let it out slowly, but that's okay. Now we're going to let that paint move around. So you can see this one's definitely a lot bluer than the last one. I can see some of those cells in there already. And actually, I'm going to this is a heat gun. It's going to help some of those cells come out. You can see them starting to pop. I'm going to do this again later on. So let's let that paint move around a little bit. way. I think I want to let a little more paint come drip over on this corner here. some of that black back over. I really like that. Bring 
some of that down to the edge there. I'm just helping it flow a little bit towards the corner there. Okay. Now we are going to hit that with the heat gun. Just going to clean my hands real quick. Right, and there we have it. 